Hey guys, in this video we'll create uh, this dashboard design in uh, SketchUp. Now, we will guide you through step by step and uh, this is part of an entire series of videos in which we're creating an entire UI kit uh, dashboard from scratch. Now, creating an entire UI kit can take a lot of time, maybe hundreds or even thousands of hours depending on the complexity, but uh, I actually uh, have some uh, UI kits uh, which uh, you can visit uh, at the link uh, in the description box below. So feel free to check it out because I have many many UI kits uh, which uh, can help you save like literally thousands of hours and uh, kickstart your projects being uh, clients projects or personal projects and uh, in the best way possible. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just jump into the tutorial. Hey guys, we're now back in Sketch. Now, this is a part of a series in which we're creating a dashboard UI kit, but you can follow along even if you're not, if, even if you're just interested in looking at this tutorial and learning all the golden nuggets that we're going to explore in this video. So let's start by creating uh, um, this uh, basic screen. And uh, as you can see, I'm just keeping the left menu, which is uh, pretty simple. Um, if you go and explore the symbol, you can just see a few icons, which uh, we downloaded uh, from a Google material icon and uh, a picture. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's start uh, the tutorial by creating some uh, rectangles. And uh, these are going to be the base uh, for uh, our shapes. Uh, and uh, let me just create uh, a few over here. Um, okay, we're going to go with four. Now, as you can see, I'm just uh, trying to um, be rough with uh, the initial um, like dimensions and you know all of this. Uh, just one thing that I'm going to do is to check. Uh, um, that uh, the height uh, and uh, the ratio is similar to the other screens but you know as you can see I'm just going to um, have a look around and try to figure out the style without being too um, strict on grids for this specific project now in other projects uh, this might be the case especially if you're working with uh, let's say a client that uh, commissions you a website and uh, he's looking to implement the website in Bootstrap. Um, in that case, you absolutely have to be um, like much more uh, focused on grids, uh, uh, layouts. And, you know, make make sure that the columns are good uh, or working well with Bootstrap. So there might some be some there might be some prep work in that case. But uh, since this is a more of a free project, we're just uh, trying to sort things out uh, on the go. Now, I have created these uh, um, cards uh, and um, I'm going to use a symbol, which is a very cool feature, which you're going to see in uh, just a minute. Um, but I wanted to have a feeling of uh, the overall layout before creating the actual symbol. So um, that's the reason why I'm, uh, I'm actually doing this, uh, even though we'll just leverage one of these. Uh, um, so, Let's go ahead and just copy the style of uh, this element over here, which is quite simply a fill with uh, a soft shadow. And uh, this uh, allows to give a little bit of a separation from uh, the background. And uh, as you can see, this uh, uh, helps quite a bit. And uh, I'm also going to just go ahead and copy some textiles. I mean, if you don't have the textiles, you can see the font which I use is Lato, this is a bold version, um, size is 13. This is still Lato bold, uh, size is 10, and I made it um, all caps. And uh, I'm just gonna copy these textiles, go over here, and uh, I'm just going to uh, paste them. So, just like that. And uh, I'm going to paste the text a few times because we're going to create uh, some uh, text elements and uh, so this is going to be the headline so i created some text styles in the previous uh, uh, videos of this series and if you're interested in uh, learning uh, um, how i set it up this whole document and uh, textile the design system and all that uh, feel free to check the playlist in which uh, we are creating this uh, entire UI kit uh, from scratch, so from the basic foundation. 
Um, so that's that. Um, let me just make this a little bit bigger and uh, I think this could be a nice uh, um, title. So let's just invent uh, um, 10 reasons why you're here. I don't know, just making things up. Uh, just I just want to experiment with the, the typography. Starting to see that maybe three lines isn't like um, that uh, good, uh, visually speaking, for this specific uh, uh, card. Um, I'd rather go with uh, two lines. And I also noticed that the textiles which uh, previously established in the design system Maybe the heading too needs a little bit more uh, line height. Um, just my perf personal preference because it felt a little bit too compressed in this very in this uh, part over here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, um, I just uh, visualized it uh, in uh, that uh, specific case, and I'm gonna go back into the textiles, put 37 to each and one of them, and uh, I'm going to update the textiles. Now here we go and uh, everything is running pretty well at the moment so I think this is good and uh, we're going to uh, use a paragraph text over here I'm gonna use uh, the regular left and uh, we are going to leverage a lorem ipsum and uh, in case you're wondering why I'm looking like outside of uh, the, the monitors because I have two monitors but in this video you're just going to see a portion of one so that's that and uh, let me just grab a lorem ipsum from this second monitor over here and boom we have it um, okay since it what it was uh, in this uh, um, mode over here, it just took a while, and I think I'm going to adjust the text, the, um, the text height, uh, um, this one too. So the line height. Let's put it uh, around. Uh, I think 22 could be good. So I'm just gonna go back onto the textiles and adjust all of the paragraphs text with. 22 because that's something that uh, we didn't plan out earlier on uh, and as you can see the design system is something which uh, is uh, alive and uh, you don't fix it and um, you pretty much like forget about it and you just obey from by the rules but it's actually something that you continuously improve upon and uh, you of course you're going to have some some things which are fixed such as the type face uh, and uh, you know things like the h1s the h2s uh, um, you might have some elements which are fixed but uh, overall it's something which uh, is uh, alive and uh, breathing at least uh, until the project isn't uh, confirmed or approved by any sort but usually, uh, even with, with the bigger clients, which I have a design system, um, or usually something which uh, is always, uh, there's always an evolution going on. There's always uh, um, things of that nature. So I think we're good at this point. Um, might change this uh, to, instead of a paragraph, might consider having uh, a small text, but I'm not not too sure about it actually. I think it's looking quite nice. Might keep this whole section minimal. So as you can see, I'm just creating the very first one. This is going to be a symbol which we're going to repeat throughout. But um, by doing this prep work of uh, creating composition beforehand, you can already envision what the final will look like. So. Let's go over here and create uh, a other rectangle and this is going to be the image. Now let's uh, go ahead and use the data feature to search for a random photo. Okay, I think we're going to go with a more minimal approach. 
but uh, that's fine for now. Um, I think we are in, uh, in good shape and uh, I'm pretty happy with this overall. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, select all of these uh, and create a symbol. This symbol is going to be um, called, uh, let's say, this is going to be a card with image. I'm just going to use these, uh, this name, we might change it uh, after all in, in the symbols, you know, um, there, there might be a time where I'm just going through the symbols and I'm going to rename stuff. Uh, so, but you know, for now, this is totally fine. So let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this uh, card in uh, um, a few times. So the way you do it uh, is I'll show you this uh, shortcut, which is pretty cool. Now you just uh, click uh, shift, uh, click and hold the shift and alt and you move uh, this card uh, and uh, as you can see it's already duplicated and now if you use command plus d it duplicates it again uh, in almost the same uh, um, the same the same location as, uh, as this one it really depends on uh, how close you you've been with the with this first one but overall you can see the gist of it so i'm just going to select all of them uh, use the distribute uh, um, feature over here and I'm going to use uh, the same. Now let's copy and paste this and uh, boom we are in business. Now let's delete all the rectangles which are um, below and uh, let's go ahead uh, and uh, use uh, Unsplash in order to find uh, some uh, some images which uh, could work well in uh, this uh, occasion. So let's go minimal, uh, which is something which I um, usually um, select when I want something that is um, a light, uh, light image. So I download this one. And by the way, Unsplash is a, a great uh, website to um, find uh, photos which uh, um, or are free and um, you might want to check out all the terms and conditions when it comes to the crediting and uh, as they say here uh, crediting is required uh, for this image but uh, it is uh, appreciated and allows photographer to gain exposure so if you can credit them it's always something which uh, is good and uh, they will surely uh, appreciate it so I'm just going to go over here, select uh, a few more uh, images which are quite minimal and then what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to create uh, a folder in uh, my uh, computer and uh, yeah, I'm just going to use uh, these uh, um, the uh, images from that uh, folder so everything is uh, nice and uh, organized and uh, I can find them uh, easily. So let's continue over here and I'm um, not sure if we already have enough, uh, we, we might have, um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and have a few more, maybe we can uh, have a few samples uh, and uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let me just grab this last one and boom, we are good to go. I'm going into my downloads folder and uh, just going to, to grab all of these uh, in my second monitor and I'm just uh, what, what I'm doing over here is uh, pretty simple I'm just having this uh, I'm just creating this uh, um, image folder I'm dragging all of the images inside my image folder so that I can find them over here now I'm going to select all of these uh, let's give it a try with uh, the data feature sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, at least uh, uh, recently on my part it, it might be something on, on my part though usually it works uh, perfectly so let's go here image and uh, place photos let's see if it's working this time mm -hmm. let's 
go again okay it's not working never mind uh, we're going to select them individually which is uh, still totally fine so I'm just gonna go here and uh, actually this allows me to have uh, more leverage over the visual uh, representation of these and uh, how they display uh, next to one another because obviously we're still talking about the composition so um, it's always something to take uh, in consideration now I think that this is uh, um, taking shape pretty nicely so yeah we'll just uh, keep uh, this uh, uh, this mood. Um, as you can see the images have quite uh, a degree of similarity between uh, one uh, another um, in the style and um, I think this uh, adds uh, for um, consistency which uh, you know it's always uh, it's always good it's always something which uh, is uh, positive and uh, yeah I quite uh, I think I'm quite happy with this so far and um, let's just uh, create some random text uh, uh, just bear with me uh, this is a blog post for yeah I'm just literally making stuff up and uh, uh, the reason why I'm not using data for this one is because it the, the space is quite limited so um, there really wasn't a, a good chance that it would pick up uh, um, good examples of titles because usually the titles or the headlines are, are quite long so I just wanted to type them myself but uh, I'm going to use data for the um, dates so Let's go over here and I'm going to change the date of uh, these ones. So it's just going to be um, a randomized and uh, Craft, uh, it's an amazing plugin because it allows you to save time on these uh, repeating tasks when you need uh, some more um, uh, amount of randomness in your design. So yeah, as you can see, the dates uh, over here are all changed and I'm also going to change the name. Uh, I think I won't change the paragraphs just because um, there really isn't that much uh, of uh, uh, a reason doing it. I think it's pretty, um, pretty self-explanatory and uh, oh, I just noticed that it did change them already. So let me just try it like this. Okay, we are pretty much good to go. Just going to change the, the paragraphs text uh, um, just to have uh, like another version, but there really isn't uh, that much uh, of uh, a need for this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just something which uh, my uh, ADD, I guess, uh, <laughs> design ADD, uh, is require me to do so yeah just bear with me on, on this uh, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to these small things over here but yeah okay I'm just gonna go like this and, ch and bulk change them and uh, I think we're good I think I'm quite happy with uh, this page. Um, this is going to be um, page number, the screen number four of this UI kit. 
And uh, as you can see, we don't even have to do a lot when it comes to the layers ordering management because it's already um, in uh, the symbols. So we just need to manage the symbols really and uh, clean these ones up. So I think I'm gonna rename this to image and uh, I'm just going to use the uh, this plugin in order to reorder the layers in a very fast way. And uh, this plugin is a sketch, it's a sketch cleaner. If you look on Google sketch cleaner, you're going to find it straight away. And uh, it allows you to sort lay to basically sort layers in a layer panel based on the Y position. So if I just click on it, you can see that the image is going to be first, uh, the uh, data after that, uh, and uh, basically it's it's uh, uh, reordering uh, in a second, <laughs> really. So it's a great thing, and uh, yeah, we're pretty much uh, uh, done and good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, again. Creating a UI kit can be a great experience or even a dashboard being for a client project or a personal project. Uh, but, um, you know, I also have uh, a lot of, uh, I have made uh, personally a lot of UI kits. Uh, so you feel free to check out my store on uh, UI8 uh, and uh, follow me on uh, there if you want to receive notifications whenever I post uh, a new product being uh, a free product uh, or a paid product. I have both of them on uh, my uh, account over there. So, you know, feel free to check them out uh, because uh, um, like one of those can literally save you like a hundred or even thousands of hours. So uh, that's that. Uh, but uh, enough of this uh, uh, <laughs> this talk about the uh, my UI kits. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below because uh, I'm really interested in uh, um, helping you and also receive feedback on uh, uh, the video and what do you think of this methodology. So feel free to, to uh, leave a comment below, super appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button and uh, also consider subscribing to my channel since I'm posting this kind of content weekly as well as uh, freelance design business advice uh, since uh, that's what I'm doing pretty much uh, um, <laughs> all day every day. I'm a UI UX designer with uh, over eight years of experience so um, yeah just uh, feel free to um, Check, check out these uh, channels and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the, the next video of this series in which we're creating an entire dashboard UI kit from scratch.